Extraction 2020 Mercenary Tyler Rake, Chris Hemsworth, finds himself wounded in the midst of a firefight, seeking cover behind a car. As he reflects on his situation, memories flood back. In Mumbai, India, Ovi Mahajan Jr., Rudraksh Jeswal, a teenager and the son of India's most powerful drug lord, is abducted by men posing as police officers. This operation is orchestrated by Amir Asif Priyanshar Yuli, the rival drug lord in Bangladesh. Ovi's kidnapping is not about ransom but to humiliate his father, Mahajan Sr. Saju Rav, Randy Puda, Mahajan's lieutenant, is tasked with rescuing Ovi, and Mahajan warns Saju that failure will result in his own son's demise. Saju, facing the challenge of frozen assets, decides to undertake the mission. He confides in his wife Nasa, explaining that he must retrieve Ovi to save their own family. Nasa supports Saju, even though the cost is beyond Mahajan's means. Meanwhile, in Kimberley, Australia, Tyler is approached by Nick Khan, Golshift of Farani, for an extraction job in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Despite Tyler's troubled demeanor, he agrees to the task, motivated solely by the need for money. Nick, concerned about Tyler's state, insists he remains sober for the mission. Tyler and Nick head to Bangladesh, where they assemble a team and gather intel for the extraction. Tyler confronts the kidnappers, demanding proof of Ovi's safety. After a tense standoff, Tyler, with the help of his sniper team, eliminates the captors, sparing a young child soldier. Asif, Ovi's captor, resorts to ruthless measures to locate his prisoner, throwing children off a building until one confesses. However, the plan is disrupted when Asif learns that Ovi has escaped captivity. Tyler, with Ovi in tow, attempts to reach the extraction point, but the promised funds fail to materialize. The rest of Tyler's team is ambushed and killed by Bangladeshi police, including Saju, who emerges as part of the pursuit. Ovi, torn between Tyler and Saju, faces a complex web of loyalties and suspicions as the pursuit intensifies. Tyler and the police have a long and winding car chase, which then leads to a foot chase where Tyler has to fight and kill many of the armed squad of pursuers while keeping Ovi safe. He has a brutal physical fight with Saja that goes down several floors and into the streets. Tyler is hit by a car, giving Saju a chance to kill several Bengalese police and grab Ovi. But Tyler hits Saju with a truck and takes Ovi with him leading to another police chase. They get out before the car explodes, and Ovi helps Tyler, who is very wounded, limp away. When they find a safe place to hide, Tyler instructs Ovi on how to help him tend to his wounds. Nick calls Tyler and informs him that Saju is ex-Special Forces. She tells Tyler that they were played, they wanted the team to extract the kid but never intended to pay them. She gives him information on where an extraction point is that would allow him to get out of the city, and tells him he has to leave Ovi behind. He doesn't want to leave him behind and tells Nick to find him the money. Ovi overhears and remarks that Tyler, like his father, thinks of him more as a thing than a person. Meanwhile, an extremely wounded Saju also tends to his wounds, breaking his own nose back into place. He calls Nasa and says if she doesn't hear from him in 12 hours to take their cash and disappear. He has her put their son on the phone so he can talk to him one last time as well. As Tyler and Obi begin to head toward the extraction point, they are attacked by Farhad and several other child soldiers, now heavily armed by Asif. They put up a fight, but Tyler is able to subdue them and takes Ovi into the sewers to keep fleeing. He calls Nick for aid, who is dismayed he hasn't ditched Ovi, and tells her to call Gasper, David Harbour, an old mercenary currently living in the area. Nick says that isn't a good idea, but Tyler insists, saying Gasper owes him. Gasper arrives, picks them up, and takes them to his home. He and Tyler have a drink, and Gasper tells him that getting out of the city will be incredibly difficult. Farhad loses a finger for his inability to get Tyler, and he pleads with Asif to let him take another shot at Tyler, telling him Tyler made him look like a fool. Back at Gasper's, Ovi apologizes to Tyler, saying it's his fault Tyler almost died, Tyler tells Ovi it's only his own fault. Ovi calls him brave, and asks Tyler if he has a family, and he tells him he had a wife who he hasn't seen in a long time, and a son who died a few years ago of lymphoma. He was in Afghanistan when his son died, having gone voluntarily, unable to bear watching his son died. He tells Ovi he isn't brave at all. Later, 
Gaspar tells Tyler that there's no way Ovi can get out of Bangladesh alive. Asif will never let it happen. He tells him the best thing for Ovi might be to mercy kill him now rather than let Asif have his way with him. He tells Tyler the bounty is 10 million and urges Tyler to just give up the kid. Tyler shoves Gaspar, who reveals he's made a deal with Asif. 10 million dollars, they both get to live, and they give up the kid. He tells Tyler he doesn't have to kill Ovi, he'll do it, and that he's saving Tyler's life. The two have a brutal physical fight, and before Gaspar can bash Tyler's head in, Ovi enters with Tyler's gun. When Gaspar charges at him, Ovi shoots him twice, killing him. Tyler comforts him as he cries. Out of ideas, Tyler calls Saju and arranges a meeting, telling Saju he just wants to get Ovi out. Saju tells Tyler how Mahajan threatened his family. Tyler tells him he will draw the enemy's fire in order to give Saju a chance to get Ovi to safety. Tyler blows up a vehicle and then lays down gunfire, giving Saju and Ovi a chance to make a break out of the city in a car, but when they get caught in traffic, they are forced to continue on foot. When they are stopped by the police, Saju gets into a firefight with them. Tyler engages in his own battle with enemy forces, while Nick arrives armed up with her team to the extraction point and takes out an enemy helicopter with a rocket launcher as Asif watches from afar in horror. Saju tries to clear a path to get Ovi across the bridge but gets pinned down, so Tyler rushes in to begin taking out the enemy forces. Saju is shot in the head by a sniper and killed, leaving Ovi alone. Nick manages to snipe out the sniper, and Tyler gets most of the ones on the ground, but he is gravely wounded, taking us back to the beginning of the film. He imagines his son as Ovi arrives and holds his hand, crying. Tyler directs him to run to the helicopter as Ovi begs him to get up. Eventually, Ovi runs for the helicopter. When the coast is clear, Tyler gets up and heads for the extraction, but a bullet rips through his neck as Nick and Ovi look on in horror. The shooter is revealed to be Farhad, who Nick shoots at but manages to escape. Ovi runs for Tyler, but Nick holds him back. Tyler remembers his son before falling off the bridge into the water below. Eight months later, Ovi has returned home to India, while Asif remains in power in Bangladesh. Asif enters a bathroom, when Nick enters and shoots him in the head, then multiple times as he lays on the ground. Ovi dives into a swimming pool and surfaces, as he previously told Tyler, it's not falling into the water that drowns someone, but not being able to get back above the water. As Ovi comes up from the water, a man appears to be watching Ovi from outside the pool. I know.